This is AP lab number five, separation of the molecules. We'll be using Kool-Aid to help us see what is going on. Chromatography is an important technique that we use for various reasons in chemistry. The objective is to separate the food dyes using chromatography. Chromatography is a name for a family of methods used to separate mixtures into their individual components. The method is based on the affinity that molecules have for other molecules, also known as intermolecular forces of attraction. We will be using paper chromatography to separate the food dyes in our mixtures. Paper chromatography works in two phases, liquid and solid, and is a straightforward process. A strip of paper, the solid phase, is treated with a liquid mixture, which appears as a thick dot at one end of the paper strip. The mixture is allowed to dry. The paper is then dipped into a solvent, the liquid phase. By capillary action, the solvent is drawn up the paper. As the solvent passes a spot of mixture, it dissolves the components of the mixtures and carries them up into the strip of paper. The ability of the solvent to keep the solutes in solution weakens until the solutes can no longer remain in solution and they are revealed on the paper. Because the components of a mixture will have a different level of solubility, they will physically separate on the paper. What makes grape flavored Kool-Aid purple is because of the colors. Take a moment and read the package. You'll find that color adjectives are common in foods on the supermarket shelves. You will find these in foods, drinks, cosmetics, toiletries, and more. We use these colors to brighten up the food color because they seem more appealing to people. They also remind us of other foods we like, such as yellow or lemons, and red resembles cherries. As mentioned before, paper chromatography is a method of studying it. You can also read the lab to, talk, to look at thin layer chromatography as well. They use a silicone gel plate. So going back to your purple, your grape Kool-Aid. It is purple because it contains red 40 and blue 1. And so in this lab, I have concentrated your Kool-Aid so that when we place it onto the chromatography paper and we use a solution of sodium chloride, we're going to separate into the components. Now, the reason you have additional Kool-Aid here is because I want you to read the back of these Kool-Aid containers as well and see what colors there are. And your challenge is one, to separate them into its components, and two, if you do it right, every package that contains red 40, the RF value should be the same as that red of red 40 in the grape. And we should see that as well in blue. Whatever our RF value is for the grape, whatever else has blue one in it should also have that RF value. For a reminder about RF values and how to calculate, please refer to your lab. It has a diagram on how to calculate that. Make sure you pay attention to parts in the lab so you can get your measurements correct. Okay, you're gonna get your chromatography paper and you're gonna mark a line in pencil, a straight line. Uh, it says 1.5 centimeters from the bottom, but you're just making sure you have enough gap that when you place it in your beaker, it doesn't fall over, okay? Now, I went ahead and I've attached it to my popsicle stick with tape. It says you can also use a straight pen, but I would recommend just using tape and the popsicle stick. Now, once I have that checked, I'll take it out and I'm just gonna get the bottle. We, we all have to share these bottles. Here's my grape and this is what I'm testing. And you see, I just got, I got a little bit right here. I'm just gonna put one drop on that line. And that's all it will take, a little bit drop. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run cherry against it. There's no squeezing of the pipette. There'll be enough in the bottom. And I just place it on that line. 
okay. Okay, once I have that, then I'm gonna get a little bit of this sodium chloride solution and I'm gonna pour a thin line down there, okay? So I don't have a whole bunch of sodium chloride in there. I just have enough and I'm gonna stick this in my beaker. As long as it doesn't fall over, we're good. So I'm gonna let it sit there and I'm gonna allow the solution to come up through the paper and give it time and I'll wait until it's all the way at the top, it's already ran and I'm gonna make some marks on it. Okay, great. So I'm just showing you again what you're looking at. Here we've got them, they're starting to work. I just gotta let them sit here and, and run. And so you, this should take about 10 to 15 minutes. So here I have one that I did earlier and I didn't quite catch it soon enough. But up here is my solvent line, which is great. And here is my blue. And this is my sharkleberry. There's my blue. And there's my red. And so you wanna go ahead and you wanna mark it because you'll have to do uh, calculations on there to find out what your RF values are for each color. And it's simply gonna be a ratio between how far that color traveled from the start line over how far the solvent traveled from the start line. It's a ratio. And hopefully we'll find out that all of our blue ones all travel the same distance, all our red 40s travel the same distance. So on the extension, not only you're gonna test your grape and see it break into the two colors of blue and red, but you're gonna go test the other Kool-Aid powders that I picked up and see what results you get for that, okay? This is your lab going over chromatography and make sure that you get all the information in there and don't forget your analysis and your post lab. Live long and prosper.